This is how I can make this halftone text effect here on Photoshop. I'm gonna go with this artboard size. The font is Nicole Gothic. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. All right, so I'm gonna go and create a new layer and I'm gonna drag and drop this new layer under the text layer. I'm also gonna rename it and I'm gonna select the new layer and I'm gonna select the brush tool. I'm gonna go with a black color and I'm gonna try to draw a line like this. I'm also gonna go and decrease the opacity quite a bit. I'm gonna try it out with 30 and press and hold shift, select the text layer and the line, convert to smart object. Let's go to filter, blur gallery and select field blur. Here I'm gonna add another pinpoint here, here and two more on the left side and two more on the right side. And I'm gonna decrease the right ones to zero. Let's go to the other one. Let's select the left ones and decrease them. And I'm gonna go to the middle ones and increase that. So it's gonna be nice and high. Let's go to the bottom one. Let's click okay. So everybody wants these text effects without background, right? So check this out, we got this effect separated from the background. I'm gonna uncheck the background and I can see it transparent. I'm gonna select the text layer. Let's go to the filter, pixelate and select color halftone. So now we're gonna apply the halftone. I'm gonna go with max radius on 30, channel 1, 2, 3, 45, channel 4, 0, click OK. And as you can see, nothing is happening because the background is excluded. So I'm gonna activate it back and I'm gonna press and hold shift, select both layers, a right click, convert a smart object. And now we're gonna go back to the filter, pixelate, select color halftone and click OK. So now this way you have the halftone. If you wanna change up the size of the circles, you can go and double click on the color halftone and decrease the max radius. For example, 24, and now you get like smaller half tones. I also gonna go to the filter, blur, and select Gaussian blur. For the radius, I'm gonna go with like 4.5, click OK. And I'm gonna go to the adjustments, select the threshold, and here you can customize the threshold to make the half tones look however you want. And of course, if you wanna remove the background, I'm gonna press and hold shift, select both layers, right click, convert a smart object, double click on the layer, Make sure to check blend interior effects as group and let's get the right handle of the current layer and increase it. And as you can see, it eliminated the background completely. And this is how I make this halftone effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.